Sri Ram Lakshman Reddy sir, respected executive director Sri Ji Chandrasekhar Yadav sir, invited guest Narendra Reddy sir, deans, HODs and staff member of San Martin Engineering College. A very good afternoon to all of you and wholeheartedly I would like to wish you all a happy teacher's day. So, this day is all yours, for you, on you, and every day I treat it as a teacher's day. And somehow you know the reasons why the teacher's day are celebrated. So, as already you know very well, Dr. Sarvogandhi Radha Krishna. So, his birthday, which was on 5th September. 1888. So his birthday was celebrated as a teacher's day because even though he was the first vice president of India, he was a Bharat Ratna Awardee, but basically he is a teacher. Irrespective of the top positions what he has reached, he has always given due respect to the profession what he had chosen. Means the first profession as a teacher. So when the people came to him to celebrate his birthday, then he suggested everyone, no, instead of celebrating my birthday, you better celebrate it as a teacher's day, so that I will be very much grateful and I will be very much of thankful. So such a noble-minded person and such a great philosopher and such a great leader, his birthday is decided to celebrate as a teacher's day. And as you already know, Dr. Sarvapali Radha Krishna. So he started his career as an academician and subsequently he became the Vice Chancellor of Anai Andhra University and subsequently he was the Vice Chancellor of Vishwa Vidyala Paisa University and subsequently he was also the Vice Chancellor of Delhi University. So when he was working as a Vice Chancellor, he never thought that no, he wanted to enter into the politics. He never thought that he will get a chance to act as a vice president of the country. He was invited. That post was given based on his nobility, based on his knowledge and based on his magnanimity for the profession what he had chosen. He was the only person who was invited and offered a post of vice president of the country. And he was a Bharat Ratna Awardee. So there are so many of contributions and we feel proud to celebrate his birthday as a teacher's day and we all are privileged that we are part of this great teaching fraternity. In this junction, I would like to congratulate you all for choosing this professor as your career and you are continuing your, your journey as a teacher. So, nowadays, it is not restricted that no teachers are who are all comes in our life and teaches inside the classroom by using the boards. They are not the, not the only scope of teachers. There might be any teachers who teaches you not only about the teaching learning processes, also about the life skill. What is the life skill? How to succeed? How to overcome a problem? And how you will be successful? So, those all I treated as a teacher. The morning today I wake up, I was getting so many calls, messages, emails, where somebody would have worked with me as my subordinate, colleague, senior professors, and beyond all these things, my students. Flooded completely. So, I felt very happy that was still my students, my colleagues, my subordinates, they have remembered me. And the first thing what I did today, the moment I wake up, instead of sending a reply to them, to whom I feel from my heart that they are my teachers, I made a call to everyone, I greeted them and took their blessings. And first I made a call to my mother, because I always believe she is my first teacher in my life, then followed with all the teachers, as I told to you, the definition of teachers for me, it is not the inside the classroom teachers. There are so many ways 
we can enhance our skill set. All this set of people I treated as my teachers and I wished them, greeted them and I took their blessing and started my day. So now I would like to ask a question to you. So all of you have completed your school education, intermediate, B.Tech, M.Tech or B.Sc, M.Sc and some of you have completed your Ph.D. also. So now, during our school days, so many teachers would have come across, right? And during our subsequently in B.Tech or whatever the higher studies we have completed, we would have come across so many teachers. So we have a galaxy of teachers who has groomed us and taught us so many different subjects. Now, my question to all of you, so just for a minute, all of you please close your eyes, then I will start my question. Please close your eyes. Yeah, I could able to see every one of you. Okay, so still some people are blinking, whether I am noticing or not. Okay, so let us do a small gratitude to all of our teacher just by closing our eyes. Okay, now you please listen to my questions. Okay, during your school tenure, please remember who are all had, had te who are all teachers had taught you. What are all names you would able to remember? No need to tell to me. Just keep it in your mind. One, two, three. Whoever all faculty who are all coming to your mind during your school tenure. Okay. Then during your undergraduate. Okay. No, no, no need to open your eyes and look at me. You can close and keep the things in your mind. Okay. During your post graduation. And during your PhD. And the last and final question to you, don't open your eyes, I will tell you, I will give you a chance. And last and final question to you, as I told to you, the life skill teachers to whom you treat as your guru or mentors, those names. Done? List is ready in the mind? All of you, in one time, greet them, happy teachers day. Loudly. Okay, now you can open your eyes. Okay. So you have remembered your teachers and you have greeted them. Now I will tell you why I asked you to do this activity. Someday, so many teachers would have come across in your life. Okay. I think roughly if you will take a count, maybe more than three to four hundred teachers would have come. Because engineering approximately 45 to 50 subjects are there. Okay, so subjects, the laboratory faculty all put together around 100 to 150. Okay, then I am at least 15 to 20 papers are there. So another 50 you had 200 school and intermediate. So put together somewhere around 300 to 350, 400 faculty have come. Okay, now my question to all of you, how many of you able to see the, remember the faculty of your life more than 10 minutes, raise your hands, more than 10 minutes, raise properly, more than 20 minutes, let us be honest, today is teacher's day, no, no prize is there for this, okay, just I am asking you to see, okay, more than 20 minutes, right, now only 2 names, 3 names, 3 names are there, okay, more than 30 names, nobody is there, okay. Now, my question to you, after some years, in some different forum, if this question will be asked to somebody else, now you yourself analyze whether your face will come in somebody's mind. If it is, it will come, if you are confident, really you are doing a great job in the profession of what you are choosing. That is the way we have to take up the profession. We should like it, we should love it, we should die for the profession. 
24 into 7. Except the professional what we have chosen, which our mind should not permit us to think beyond that. Down the line, if somewhere the question will be asked, what I uttered, I, I asked it to all of you, then at least some set of students, how you are sitting and you are remembering your teachers. Why you have remembered? I told you at least you would have come across more than 300 faculties. Then why you have remembered only 10, only 12, only 15? Because there is an impact on you based on their skill, based on their teaching learning process or they would have helped you to groom yourself. So that we have to decide. So what kind of impact we are making somebody's life that will make a difference. If at least I believe 50 people at least will remember you as a teacher, you have done justice to the profession what you have chosen. And how it will come? By giving gift it will not come. By making a WhatsApp call and sending good morning it will not come. It will come the dedication what we show to the profession. So I believe you will carry the sentiment what I am carrying in my mind and you will apply in your professional life so that the entire ecosystem will be good for the student as well as for all of you. Now, as I was telling to you, anybody could be a teacher and the people who come across in our life and they are making an impact, they are the great teacher I will say. I will take an example of our Honorable Chairman sir. At the age of 79, you know, what is his age, right? Okay, at the age of 79, every year, sir participates in the Krishna River swimming and owns the prizes. Every day, he does the triathlon. Triathlon means what? Cycling, swimming and running. At the age of 79. Always he educates and inspires everyone to participate in the sports activity, keep yourself fit and fine. So this is the learning, this is the lesson I have taken from Sir, how to take care of ourselves and how to devote time for our own health. So on Teacher's Day Sir, we would like to greet you as Happy Teacher's Day to you also Sir, because so many things we have learned from you. So let us have a big round of Applause for our chairman sir, who is always concerned about the health and fitness of every individual, whoever comes in his life. And what benefit he will get if you are fit means nothing, right? Only the benefit is what as a mentor he will get the happiness. That is the gratitude he wants. Please follow, do it. That's what. So, and another great leader which every day I come across, our executive director, Sri Ji Chandrasekhar Yadav sir. You might not be aware much because he is a very, very silent leader. The greatness about sir, perseverance, patience, tolerate to the maximum and see to it, silently work is done. There are two types of people who are all, because of them, the movie is hit. One is what? The hero to whom we see on the screen. Another one is what? The director of the movie. Sir always holds that position. Whatever the act and action you see on me, it is all the direction of the sir. And so many things I learn every day from sir. So at this junction, I take the opportunity to wish you also sir happy teacher's day. And let us have a big round of applause. Great management, what we are all blessed of. And at this Johnson, I would like to tell you one more thing, the magnanimity of the management. There are so many colleges, there are so many managements, but managements and the magnanimity, with magnanimity, that is totally different. Anything, I have put a request either to our chairman sir or executive director sir, they have come 10 steps ahead to support my decision which is all for the benefit of the faculty members. When we plan for 
teachers day as you know that already okay some gold coins we have kept it and once now you know the market gold market right okay what is the cost going on and all without a one minute hesitation both of them they said yes sir go ahead so let us give a big round of applause for such a great management we are having with such a big heart and such a big magnanimity so i have never seen because i come across many management i have never seen a management which is so kind hearted and also always with a face of saying yes for the faculty so thank you very much sir we are grateful in that and also we would like to extend our gratitude to both of you for blessing us and all the time to stand with us to strengthen us so as i was telling to you so these are all no direct mentors and indirect mentors all these things it creates a great role in our life so i will just uh, tell you a small story because as you know always so what happened one day one person was standing in a bus bus stop so many bus stops are there right where mtc buses used to come he was standing there He was waiting for the bus, and suddenly it started raining. What you are experiencing for past two days, it happened like this. So all of a sudden, this fellow, what he did, he came to the middle of the road and started dancing. So it was like open rain is happening continuously. It was pouring like energy, and this fellow is dancing, and completely went. We know it. The MTC bus came. So he had shown his hand. So bus stop. and he get into the bus the moment he got inside the bus and he sat in one seat and after that also after sitting there also he was just taking out his hand and you know enjoying with the rain water and uh, no just moving his body dancing all these things he was doing so such a peculiar character that is also by sitting in a empty seat bus in a public transport everybody was you know looking at him what this fellow is doing So then immediately the conductor of the bus he came and he asked where he wanted to go. Then he told his destination address. Conductor demanded the money. He gave that one. He was completely decent with the people. But these are all activities he was doing. So then conductor asked him out of his angriness, "Are you mad? Are you mad? What went wrong with you? See, I saw you. You fellow was dancing on the road." Okay, at least our driver is good. Stop the vehicle. If I would be the driver, I would have crossed and gone. And they are doing all nonsense inside the bus also. Then you see the answer of the, that person. So what he told? Yes, I am mad with dignity. And you would have been mad also if after three years. If you would have got back your vision today, you understood the meaning. That fellow, because of some health issues and all, he had lost his vision. He was unable to see. And that day, some treatment was given to him, so he got back his vision. And after that, he would able to realize the beauty of the world and the nature. So by seeing the rain, he could not able to control himself. so he was so happy and he started dancing so he was telling to the conductor if it will happen to you then you will realize why i am dancing today i am not mad i am very very happy because after 3 years of life span i got the got back my vision so why i am telling to you this story means see many days many times we don't realize what we are blessed with See, everybody is having eyes, but the rain was happening. We can't control, right? Can we control? Anybody can control the rain also. Okay. So what? We have to move with the nature. We have to be very happy. Okay. Sun is summer. Okay. Winter. Okay. Rainy. Okay. Let us enjoy. That's all. But what do we do? We start thinking in a negative way, and we will be thinking, Bangalore is only good. There is no rain. Chennai is good only. There, this kind of headache is not there. Which are all on the mind. So why I am telling to you this? Okay. So always our mind also like a magnet. So let us not attract which is all unwanted for us. 
and let us have a practice or inculcate a practice of be happy what we have today and that will give you a next level of happiness satisfaction and it will lead you to the success so sometimes i used to hear okay so there in that college no another 2000 extra salaries and these are all gossips are going on what is bothering you you don't know what kind of problem also will be there okay so that and all we have to sideline and we have to have a moment of living with the present situation and always be happy what we are blessed with problems will be there but we have to be happy and another thing i would like to tell to you which normally whenever i call for a meeting with the hodis and deans normally i tell to everyone we have to see we are all getting salary that doesn't matter now it is all uh, 30000 or 50000 or 1 lakh or 1.5 that doesn't matter but we all are paid with the salaries right and how the salaries are coming how the salaries are coming because of our work right we are coming working so who is the resource of getting the money you you all individually so if something is adding value to your family helping you don't you think that that has to be appreciated and nurtured so always you need to have a practice of investing some time some money on ourselves and we have to be little bit happy if we do something good all the time i used to tell let's say investing time in the sense always we are busy we have time for family we have time for everything we have time for attending the programs all these things but we don't have time for ourselves that should not happen little at least half a day in a month whatever you like reading newspaper or watching a movie whatever it is let us know think that one and second thing okay we purchase everything for everyone okay my brother is there he is studying i have to give him a laptop okay my sister is studying somewhere and she is going in mtc buses i have to purchase a scooty for her so i have to give a iphone to my father all this very big list is there what about you what is your requirement that is not spend some money on you also whatever you like you have to purchase okay book phone laptop whatever want to go by flight to bangalore do something because see it has to be nurtured you yourself has to take care of yourself and third thing always i say gift yourself what is the gift let's say today i have taken my class you know you all are teachers in a semester 50 to 60 periods you will be taking and you know that every day class delivery is not same whether you agree or not even though i am putting the floor supervisor camera sectoris are coming for round and dean academy dean rnds are going on round you have your own way of managing so so what happens but you know you yourself know today the content what you have delivered in front of the student up to what percentage it is okay i need not have to say you know that okay so because i have also crossed all the phases so some periods will be there where you feel that you have given your 100% you that happiness will be something different the moment you come to your staff room and all the way you behave the way you talk it's not a proud moment that natural happiness will be something different because whatever the example you had decided in your mind perfectly it came to your mind and you have delivered and students they were very happy so that is the next level of happiness that time you gift yourself what kind of gift you can do okay no need to go to archis gallery purchase and give it something to you no need okay come to canteen have a cup of tea or have a cup of juice and if okay if you have a colleague with you call him and offer a cup of tea that is the next level of happiness sharing your happiness that we have to do so it's not really a, a kind of a traditional way of behavior all the time so that magnanimity we need to bring within ourselves so that is always i think that should happen and as <clears throat> it is in a teachers day so as you know it is a moment of celebration it is a moment for the felicitating to all the prize winners and achievers those who have shown excellency on the academic teaching learning the research activities 
and other parameters for the institution had framed. First of all, I wanted to congratulate all the prize winners and I would like to wish all the very best who are all not going to get today, but definitely there will be a prize for you within another four hours. And just to bring it to your notice, last year when we introduced all these parameters, I think last three years we are doing it, when we introduced the parameter, each and every category, seven to eight or maximum ten people were coming up. And to my surprise, and to all of our happiness, now each and every category, some of the major categories are there, some of the minor categories are there, more than 30, 35 people are coming. So let us have a big round for our massive achievement. So all the prize winners will be felicitated to today with a memento and a gold coin. And there are games we have planned for you. And there is a gift for every individual whenever you will be leaving this room. So this is the way the management is encouraging us to do more the profession what we have chosen for. And I will be looking forward so that you should be continuing your success journey with us. And always St. Martin is there to take care of you. And in this forum, I would like to again re-congratulate you for the remarkable achievement what the St. Martin had attained because of your hard work and the dedication. Still I remember that how we are working day and night all of you to get the NAC accreditation. And as an outcome, what we got? NAC A plus. Only 27 colleges in India. St. Martin is one among them. People were struggling to participate in NIRF ranking. We participated. And where we should? In top 100. Only three colleges in Telangana who came. VNR, VJIT, CBIT, MGA, all have gone. Only St. Martin. Top 100. All in India level in top 100. NIRF ranking. Then there is an auto ranking. Where we should? Only 20 colleges. And where we stood? In excellent category. So you name out the achievements and the credibility. Now St. Martin is having everything. Patents, earlier we were counting that department 1, that department 2. Now in hundreds I am getting. And you know, last week, in one day of time span, 81 patents are published. And based on my knowledge goes, that might be highest in the globe, not in India. In a day, 81 patents. Go check it who has done so many. We will break that record also. Okay. So that is the way. And books, more than 200 books are published by all of you. You all are the proud author of your book. Copyrights. More than 100 copyrights we are holding. Patents, more than I think 250, 300 patents we are holding. Then we extended our presence into MSME, all the funding projects and all. And now already you know that in first phase three ideas got the funding, second phase two ideas got funding, and now in women's entrepreneurship, let us have a big round of applause for our lady faculty member because. 110 ideas are submitted only from our lady faculty member, which is highest in the country. That is the power of a faculty. That is the, if I will quote properly, that is the power of a San Martin faculty. Teacher's mind is a magnet mind. Whatever it is once conceived, that will happen. In that way only, all these thoughts were conceived in our mind. We want NAC A plus grade. It was conceived in our mind. We all worked together and we got that lawyer. All these achievements. So that is why first it should conceive in the teacher's mind. And once the teachers are decided, they can do whatever it is. So once again, I would like to congratulate all the prize winners 
and once again all heartedly i would like to extend my greetings and wish you all a happy teachers day thank you for listening to me have a great evening ahead thank you